So now in this video we're going to look at voltages again. So we're getting back to a little more simpler of a circuit, but it's important to realize when you're dealing with switches, because there's a number of different versions of switches, here's a push button switch, an on off switch is the main thing though. Any on off switch works like this, where when the switch is off or open, there is the full voltage across it if all you have are resistive components in series with it. So there's semiconductors that drop some of the voltage even while the uh, switch is open. But uh, in any case, we're going to keep this simple. Just a resistive component right there, a resistor. The full voltage will be across the uh, switch. And so no current will flow. We'll look at that coming up a little bit later on. So when the switch is open, it's approximately equal to an infinite amount of resistance. There is a limit. You got the air uh, between the uh, connectors, but uh, for the most part, it's infinite as far as we're concerned. And when you close the switch, you turn the switch on, then it's like having practically zero ohms of resistance right there. And that means that if you have a resistive component, all of the supply voltage while the switch is closed will be directly across that resistive component. So of course we want to uh, measure those voltages and since we're dealing with uh, changing voltages it's a lot nicer to use an oscilloscope. So we have the uh, red alligator clip from my uh, pocket oscilloscope here and the uh, black alligator clip there I'm going to put on the other side of the switch right there. So it's separated top to bottom and there you can see we got the 5 volts there. I have the uh, power supply set to 5 volts and uh, so that 5 volts is across the switch. It's not going through the resistor and that's why there is no current flow right now. The uh, switch is off. So when I press the switch now you can see voltage drops to nothing. So all of the voltage went across the resistor. It's a 220 ohm resistor and there you can see we have approximately 23 milliamps of current. This is usually uh, plus or minus about one milliamp of current. So it uh, should be pretty uh, spot on. So now I release the switch it goes back to 5 volts and we can look at the voltage across the resistor so it's going to be 0 volts when I close the uh, switch or uh, when I get the uh, jumper across the resistor I should say. So there we go. We got uh, zero volts, but if I press the switch, now we have five volts across the resistor. And with five volts across the resistor, it's setting the current, as you can see there. So as long as I'm pressing the switch, the full voltage is across the resistor. Again, it is 220 ohms. Let's grab a one kilo ohm resistor. So now, same circuit, but I got a one kilo ohm resistor. There's no voltage across it and uh, thus no current. So let's, uh, let's just zoom back and look at them all together right there. And so no current until I press the switch. So now you can see it's still 5 volts across the resistor, but uh, since we have about uh, four times, a little more than four times the resistance, we're close to about a fourth of the uh, current with the 5 volts across it. I let go of the button. Now all the voltage is across the uh, switch right here if I move the two jumpers to uh, both sides of the switch right there and uh, so that's zero volts as is all of that it's five volts up there and uh, no matter where this jumper is along that line there and so in any case just thought I would do a quick video of the uh, voltage changes across a switch it's either all of the supply voltage unless you have like diodes that drop some of that voltage but it's all the supply voltage or uh, none if you close it then current goes through it practically freely and so voltage doesn't build up across it that's what's going on right there it transfers all the voltage to the resistor so I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching make sure you check out one of the other videos click like subscribe the bell and all that and uh, donate to Patreon if you can. I have a link down in the description. That would help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.